Hi, I'm Amy Sweet. I'm the CEO of Halcyon Home, and I'm also a physician assistant who has worked as a CNA, as an EMT, as a surgical assistant in the OR, and I'm here today to show you all how to practice universal precautions at Halcyon Home for the next eight weeks as we go through the scariest pandemic in our healthcare history. So listen up and let's go. So the most important thing to prevent infection is to be prepared. And to be prepared, it takes organization. And this is an area where I struggle with and so, and everybody struggles with. So we put together a list to try and help you be organized to get ready so that when you go into a home, you're protecting both yourself and that client from infection. So the first thing we're doing is we have a checklist that you all will get in your bags of PPE. If you haven't gotten this, we'll be sending it to you in a text as well. But the first thing you're gonna do every day before you leave for work is check your temperature. So we're gonna quickly, I have my thermometer and everything ready and organized in one place so I can find it every day. So the first thing, this is an ear temperature. There's all different kinds. There's an oral one in your mouth and there's a temporal one. My temperature is normal at 97.9. Anything over 99.6, you must call the office about. If it's a lot higher than normal, if you're typically 97 and you're even running 99.2, call us because it might be the start of something. The next thing is we're gonna make sure we have everything in our bag for the day. These are the items we're gonna bring with us. And I'll show them to you in my bag as well. We need to make sure before you leave for work that you have all of these things. Hand sanitizer. Soap to wash your hands. Paper towels to dry your hands and protect your bag. A surgical mask. This is the surgical mask. I've got it for the day. If you have multiple shifts during the day and you know you're going to see five or ten people, make sure you have multiple surgical masks. An N95 mask. This is if you're going to be seeing a potentially sick patient that might have COVID-19 or does have COVID-19. A gown in case you see a patient that is sick with COVID-19. Make sure you have your gloves for the day. Here are my gloves ready to go. A dirty bag. This is where I'm gonna put my dirty PPE, which stands for personal protective equipment, when I'm done with it. The last thing on the list is when I get home at night, I'm gonna check my temperature before bed. So if you have kids that move things around and grab it, keep your things in a secure place, maybe in the garage, maybe outside, you know, or in a safe place where the kids can't get it, and where you can keep everything clean and away from everybody in your house. So, that is the things that I have ready for the day. So now I'm out the door to go see my clients. Okay, I'm getting out of my car to my first patient. And the most important thing to remember is that the outside of my bag is dirty. The inside of my bag is clean. So what we're gonna do is my hands are clean. I haven't seen any patients yet today. I washed them before I left the house. And I'm gonna get my hand sanitizer out before I even get to the patient's door and I'm gonna hand sanitize my hands before we go anywhere. Get a nice good dose of hand sanitizer and we're gonna get it all over my hands, every part of it. And then we're gonna go to the door and get ready before we enter. And how we get ready is we're gonna actually put our mask on. We're gonna get our dirty bag ready. So my hands are now clean. I'm gonna keep the hand sanitizer in my hand because I'm gonna need it. And what I'm gonna do is get my first dirty bag and I'm going to put it outside the door. Now, if you're just seeing one patient today, you only need one bag. If you're seeing multiple patients, due to the COVID-19, bring as many bags as you need for as many patients as you're seeing. I'm gonna leave this dirty bag outside the door and I'm gonna ask the client or the client's family to take get rid of this trash when I leave the other thing is and if you're in a facility or community when you're done you can take this trash right to their big trash chute and get rid of it do not put your dirty bag in your car so what we want to do is at the end of the day is get it into a trash can if it's the trash can at the person outside their home that's perfect 
if it's in a community, take it to the chute or wherever they've designated trash. If you don't know where that is, ask us. We've actually found designated places in every community for you to dispose of trash. So I have my dirty bag ready for when I leave. That may be 15 minutes from now, that may be 12 hours from now. It's ready to go, and I'm gonna put all my dirty things in it when I leave today. The next thing I'm gonna do is get my mask on. If this is a COVID patient, I'm going to put my N95 mask on and I'm gonna make sure that it fits very well around my face. It has to have a very good seal. And you want it not to touch your ears at all. So it doesn't leave any marks. You want it to get very snug around the nose but not hurting you at all. And this feels pretty comfy for me and it's not hitting my ears anywhere. If you are wearing a surgical mask, this is when you put that on instead. So I'm gonna show you how to do that one too. So the first thing you're gonna do is put on your surgical mask or your N95 mask. So here's the N95 mask. It has a little part at the top that's a wire. That's the part that you want to go over your nose. Then you pull it down. Make sure it's really crimping your nose so that nothing can get in. Okay, so then I'm gonna put my hand sanitizer on and we're gonna go into the house and wash our hands. If this is a COVID-19 house, we're gonna put our gloves on now before we even walk in the house. But if we're going to a home where we don't think that there is any, we're gonna walk in, we're gonna hand sanitize and then we're gonna wash our hands and put our gloves on for the day. So we're ready to go, we have our dirty bag on, I have my mask on and we're going in the house. Hi, Mrs. Smith. I'm wearing a mask today to protect you from me and me from you so that we don't exchange any germs with this very dangerous virus going around right now. So I'll be wearing this my whole shift today. We're gonna try and stay away from each other as much as possible today so that we don't share any germs. So it's not that I don't enjoy being with you, but we're gonna stay at least six to 10 feet apart at all times unless you need my help. Okay, now we're heading straight to the bathroom. At, as soon as you come in, it's very good at the moment to take off your shoes unless you're required to wear them for some reason for your shift. But otherwise, remove your shoes right when you come in the door. If you're in a facility, if you can remove them outside the door, that's great as well. But we'll remove our shoes and go straight to the bathroom. When we get to the bathroom, we're going to, I touched a light, I'm going to sanitize my hands. Before you reach in your bag ever, sanitize your hands. That's one of the things to make sure your hands are clean before you go in your bag. I'm gonna get my soap out that I'm gonna need to wash my hands during my shift and some paper towels. Paper towels, we've got our soap. And now I'm gonna hang my bag on the door where I'm gonna leave it for the day because I don't want it to touch the ground. So it can stay there for the whole day clean. If there is no place to put your bag, there's no door handle, use a few paper towels and make sure you set it on a barrier. So now I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm actually gonna get my two gloves out that I need as well so that I'm ready to put them on with my clean hands. Okay, they're ready to go at the top of my bag so I can find them easily. Okay, we're gonna wash our hands this water does not need to be hot. It's good to sing a song in your mind. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, or I will survive was a funny one I heard recently. Rub your palms to your together and your forehands together. And that makes sure you really wash them well. Try and get a little bit up above your wrist as well. And make sure you do a good scrub. That kills all the COVID germs. Now the only thing to make sure is that you don't touch the handle that you just touched and that you use clean paper towels. First to dry your hands, one for each side. Throw them in the trash and use a clean paper towel to turn the water off. And now your hands are clean. Now is the time if you need to readjust your mask or anything, it's a perfect time to do it. Never touch your hands to your face when your hands are dirty for any reason. 
Now we're gonna put we're gonna put our gloves on and then we're ready for work. While we're with patients, we're gonna make sure that we always have our gloves on the entire shift at all times and that we have a mask on at all times. If we need to take our mask off for any reason or we need to change our gloves, we're gonna make sure that we wash our hands before, my hands are a little wet, I should have dried them a little better. There we go, but they're ready to go. I'm ready to go to work and we're gonna make sure that if we take our gloves off for any reason or we need to touch our face for any reason, that we very carefully remove our gloves from the wrist. You pull it off so it's inside out. You hold this glove in this hand and then you very carefully take this one off. Again, not splashing at all, doing it slowly so that no germs are aerosolized. Throw it right in the trash. Wash your hands before you do anything with readjusting your mask. So if you do that every time, then you will almost 100% reduce your risk of getting any virus, COVID, flu, strep, any of it. So that is a good start to your day and a great end to your day is before you do anything, wash your hands. Before you ever put your hands in the bag, use hand sanitizer or use soap and paper towels to wash your hands. So now we're gonna go through our day and our shift and we'll get to the exit in a minute. See you soon. Okay, this is where I'm leaving a shift now where I've been exposed potentially to a COVID positive patient. So I've been very careful to keep gloves on the whole time. I have my hand sanitizer that I left by the door, so I have it. I've been using it throughout the shift to make sure I'm hand sanitizing, even with my gloves on. If you need to, you can hand sanitize, but then it's best within a half an hour to go wash your hands and change your gloves if you need to. So I have washed my hands and changed my gloves throughout the day and now I'm going to leave the house. In this case, my shoes are off. So the best thing to do is to really try and get outside the door before you put your shoes on. So you could carry them if you want. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grab my bag, it's clean inside. I'm gonna make sure not to touch the inside of it. I have my hand sanitizer always ready to go so that I can hand sanitize before I put my hands back in the bag. And we're gonna leave. And right outside the door is my bag for my PPE. I'll just hang it on the door as I'm getting ready to leave. And the first thing I'm going to do is remove my gloves very carefully again and slowly. And then I'm going to remove my gown very slowly and inside out so that I don't touch any of the outside of the gown that could have germs on it. And then I'm going to pull, I'm gonna try and not waste this gown, but then you can just pull and break the gown because we're not gonna use it again. Pull it all inside out so that we don't touch any of it and stick it right in the bag. All the dirty germs gone. Then we're going to take these off and we're gonna use our hand sanitizer and we're gonna put some hand sanitizer on them right away. This kills any germs, you haven't touched your face yet. Kills germs on your hands, kills germs on your mask right away. Get it completely covered in some hand sanitizer because this will sterilize it. Let it take a minute. It takes about 30 seconds, so don't rush through this process. I think it'd be a good idea if you feel like you've really gotten it wiped down well and you have enough hand sanitizer, great. If you wanna just take these home in a dirty bag, we always have an, I always have an extra dirty bag. I could take these home and really wipe them down with Clorox. But if you need to reuse them, if you've hand sanitized them, it's not bad. But I'm just for safety's sake gonna put them in an extra bag for the day. My hands are clean because I've sanitized them. I'm gonna just stick them in another bag. I'm gonna sanitize my hands one more time before I touch near my face again. Always before you touch your face, sanitize again. And now I'm gonna remove my mask very carefully, up and over, and right into the trash. I'm gonna sanitize my hands one more time. This can now, I always make sure the bottle's been hand sanitized. This can now go back in my bag. My hands are clean now. Now that they're sanitized, I can finish 
tying my shoes and going off to my next shift. I would then hand sanitize again after tying my shoes just to make sure every time you touch anything, make sure you sanitize again. Whether it's inside the house, outside the house, if you touch something, go wash your hands. Sanitize your hands and make sure you don't touch your hands or your face before you do that. If you do that every time, you will minimize and almost eliminate the risk of you getting this virus. Your dirty trash goes now into the chute at your facility or take it straight to the trash outside someone's home. Don't touch inside the bag, don't touch anything in there, don't put it in your car because it could aerosolize and get in your car and still make you sick. So put it in the trash somewhere and now we're off to the next patient. To my coworkers at Halcyon Home, during this scary time of COVID-19, I know we can stay safe with the protective personal equipment that you have available to you here at Healthy on Home. We've worked very hard to get it for you and I know that with masks, gloves, and staying six to 10 feet away from people, we can protect ourselves and our very vulnerable patients that we love by following these practices every time. Don't touch your face. If you do, wash your hands and use sanitizer every time. Stay away from your patients and other friends and coworkers and family as much as possible during this time because we are treating the most vulnerable population and we are spending more time with them than anybody else right now in America. And so we need to follow these procedures every time the same way. And when you get home at night, check your temperature again make sure it's below 99.6 and call us for anything we can do to you, for you during this time. We love you and I think we can get through this disease scare, this pandemic of our country with very little infections because of the precautions that you will follow every time. Thank you so much.